Hey, this is Linz, and you are watching Support the Scene. Hey, hey, this is Jade from Support the Scene. I'm here with another amazing person that's newly into the Vancouver scene. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Tanya Kay. I am an actress, a filmmaker, and a professional dancer who has just arrived in Canada. I'm an immigrant. <laughs> Fresh off the boat, I love it. Now, you know, that being said, what have, you know, so where have you been? What have you done? The last 18 years have been acting, filmmaking, professional dance in Los Angeles. Before that, I was doing mostly stage work in New York. And before that, also stage and touring uh, out of Chicago. Love it. Now, those are some of the best cities in the world. Why Vancouver? Well, air quality. I'm just going to be honest. This is the most beautiful, most wonderful place in the world. Every day I wake up and I think I live in the most beautiful city in the world. I mean, um, we can look just right behind you and, and see it very much, right? 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 I mean, so beautiful. And... I had lived, you know, I'm not the type of person to go backwards. So I had already lived and worked in New York, lived and worked in Chicago, love my friends there, love my experiences there, but I wanted to move forward. And I always thought that I should live in the Pacific Northwest. Like since I was a child, I thought that. And I still wanted to stay in arts and entertainment. So I'm like Seattle not big enough yeah portland not big enough vancouver clean air arts and entertainment culture international city i just thrilled it offers so much it offers all of the things that a big city has without the concentration of big city problems like i know the problems are here but it's it's so much less. It's so wonderful. It's so yes. wonderful. Yes, and the traffic isn't that bad compared to LA. Oh no, no, no! I can walk. I hardly even get my car. Exactly right. <laughs> I love um, just being able to to scoot around the city. I haven't owned a car in over like three years now, just because it's been so easy. Yeah, and public transportation is great. It mm -hmm. works. The Sky Train, the buses, or just your feet because we're healthy and we have feet so we can go. Exactly. Now, um, so since you've come here, what have you done? Well, t tell me a little bit about some of the things you've kind of dipped and dabbled in. I am brand new here. So I'm just putting, you know, dipping my toes, dipping my feet in the water, but I've had really great experiences already. Uh, last weekend, I taught dance to um, Groove Street Productions. They do a dance convention all over Canada, and it was in Surrey, so Vancouver area. Mm -hmm. And I taught hundreds of dancers uh, body percussion, because I was in Stomp in New York. Yeah. So I taught them body percussion and tap, and I'm teaching the Source Dance Company master workshops in burlesque and yoga for dancers things that I wish that I had had when I was young. Exactly. And, <laughs> yeah. I met Burgundy Bricks. She is an amazing woman. She's a producer here. She has produced Kitty Night Productions, uh, live yeah. band burlesque at the Rio Theater for years. Just really great shows. And she put me in her Kate Bush burlesque show. So yeah. I performed at the Rio and met every, I mean, 300 people in the audience we don't have it there's no venue in los angeles that's even comparative to the rio like and something that large for independent producers wow mm -hmm. and i'm guessing you worked with the live band that played that night right yes yes uh, my my shout out to uh, my friend mark who plays guitar who was uh, playing that night Oh, were you there? Did you go no, see? I, I wasn't. I, I was. I was ill at the moment, uh, okay. or else I would have been there uh, for sure. Fair 
but oh, um, I mean, that's the one thing I love about the Rio is its support for uh, so many local local events and, and uh, producers that put on shows um, and the accessibility that they have for people who are just, you know, starting to need a venue of that size and the ability to be like, hey, you know, we don't have a ton of, you know, income or we don't know if the shows can be successful and they will latch you up and throw it on anyway and it'll be great it's amazing like i said los angeles doesn't even have a venue comparative the venues are smaller for independent producers the venues mm -hmm. are smaller and probably more expensive honestly um and they don't have parking anywhere nearby you yeah. know it, it's harder to produce in los angeles it's more expensive and up here everybody everybody's attitude was just great and i'm i'm really enjoying that just the dancers that i met backstage um the audience members that i met after the show everybody was so i don't even know how to say it local supportive welcoming it was wonderful so one thing i love uh, also, about vancouver scene for sure it's so cool i'm loving it and i've been doing mixers so my tribe I've been doing the independent filmmaker uh, mixer yeah. and uh, True North voiceover jam, VO jam. Yeah. That's for voiceover artists, but so cool. They really got a great thing going on. Well, and, and that's the thing too with, with those in, um, I didn't, didn't even know that some of uh, the top industry professionals are just doing their thing in Vancouver in their own like little little studios that they have around town. I was over in North End one day and a friend of mine was like, yeah, just I, I need to pop in and, and do some voiceover. And we popped into this little quaint little studio just over in North Van uh, and they're owned by with this like very huge voice actor. Uh, and it was just so cool. Just um, I haven't explored a lot of that industry side, but it just seems like it's doing very well in Vancouver. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about, I mean, I got to talk to locals and about the industry here and we talked about animation, uh, games, uh, yes. video games, gaming. Big, um, big shout out to some of the amazing uh, uh, video game uh, studios around town. I mean, um, one of my favorite ones that did my game, um, Mech Warriors. Uh, it's just in Chinatown, uh, just off the stadium SkyTrain station. You can go and you can go to their office that is in the in the mall. Uh, and I went and uh, got to chat with the people who made one of my favorite games. Oh, that's so cool! Yeah, and um, commercials, I guess, shoot here locally. There's just a lot of local support for local, like Vancouver loves Vancouver, British Columbia loves British Columbia, Canada loves Canada. And I don't see that sort of, that sort of like mutual support so much in the mm -hmm. US, you know, like we all love each other, don't get me wrong, but it's a different, it's a different community that supports each other. So you find your community, um, but not necessarily like, oh, you're from Los Angeles, then we'll support you. That's exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Now, now tell me a little bit, um, something just got announced and you can tell me all about it. Yeah. So, um, when I did the, my tribe mixer, it happened to be crazy eights night. And I learned about the crazy eights film festival that night and everybody, it was so amazing. I'm used to doing film festivals for sure but this is a different type of film festival. It's crazy eights, right? Yeah. So I was, I had four days after learning about it and meeting all the people. I had four days to get my pitch together. I was like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pitch. So I pitched uh, my projects. I'm directing, writing, directing on it. And today they announced that uh, my project was chosen to be part of the quarter finalists, which is so cool. <laughs> and I mostly am excited about that, not just because this seems like a really cool film festival, but because I'm new and I want to collaborate with other British Columbians, with other Vancouverites, and that seems like the perfect way to do it. 
there is so much talent in Vancouver uh, that blows me away when I, you know, I look at all my friends in film and some of them that are working with the big sets uh, that, you know, that, you know, that so-and-so is just a cam op and all of a sudden you, you sit and chat with him and you realize, oh my goodness, he's amazing at like set deck or something else that's like completely irrelevant as well. Or he's like, you know, knows this and this and this and the community around here is amazing because they'll like a lot of the, the film people on the bigger sets will finish work. And then on the weekends when they have time off, go shoot their own stuff uh, till, you know, till two in the morning uh, anyway. So it's just such an amazing uh, community. That's so good to hear. I, I am so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here. And sometimes when I'm talking to people at these mixers, they want to know about Los Angeles. They have a dream to go to Los Angeles, which if you have a dream, you got to follow it. So mm. go. If you have that dream, you got to go. But um, when they ask, I want to say what I want to say is you don't know how good you have it here. Mm -hmm. Like this is where it's at because you have 12 million more people living in Los Angeles, for example, and that's 12 million more problems. You yeah. know I mean? Very true, very true. More, more people, more problems. <laughs> now, um, you know, if people want to find you and what you're up to, where's the social medias? Where, where can people uh, hunt you down? I am, you can hunt me on social media. Uh, I am on Instagram as Pure Renegade. And I, I also operate several companies that I own, an entertainment company still operating in Los Angeles. You can find that, Tanya K Presents. But I say just go to Pure Renegade on Instagram. If you're on Twitter, go to Tanya K, T-O-N-Y-A-K-A-Y. And if you're on Facebook, um, I am Tanya K, T-O-N-Y-A, K-A-Y, and my handle is uh, Brutally Elegant. It is indeed. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now, thank you so much for joining. Uh, we'll put all your links down below. Please, uh, for everyone watching, hit that subscribe button, ding the bell to be notified when we upload even more, uh, you know, highlights from the amazing people we have around Vancouver. And uh, any last words for our viewers? Uh, thank you for welcome, welcoming me, and I'm so excited to collaborate with everybody here. Well, go hit Tanya up, and uh, everyone have a good night. Thanks for watching. This is Support the Scene. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, follow, and share.